While it's handy to use the vocab builder for on-the-fly purposes, the real power is being able to save and reuse this. So I'm going to go into the blue menu option of the toolbar and select vocab builder to bring up my vocabulary builder panel. At the upper right corner, you're going to see two options, one for a file list and one is to save a list. Most recently, I used a list that allowed me express preferences for cats or dogs. If I wanted to save this list, I would choose this option, save list here, and give it a meaningful name, like like cat and dog. Doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be meaningful for you. It is important to LAMP though, to know that capitalization matters. In this case, I did all lowercase. If I came in later on, after I saved this list and made some changes, wanted to add a couple adjectives, uh, plural options, and update the list, I need to make sure that I'm spelling it with the same capitalization and spacing and, and, and letter sequence, in which case then it'll allow me to overwrite my original and, and continue to build. So um, I usually use lowercase uh, letters when I do that, just to keep with one system. So here, this is called Light Cat and Dog, and I'm going to save this list now. It'll tell me I saved it successfully. So once I save that list, it keeps it as a file on this uh, user's iPad. So I'm going to tap File List now. These are all lists that I've used and called up before. So getting dressed in the morning, choosing my clothing, that's a routine task a family might engage in at the start of the day. So this is something that I can turn on each time I do that activity without having to choose those words each day. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And when you tap on something from your file list, all we have to do here is tell it to load that file. And what it's done now is if we hit the show all and show enabled, it's showing me that the enabled words here in that choose and close list are bad and big, some colors, some clothing items, some preference words like like or not like. All the things that I might talk about while choosing my clothes are all there ready to go. All I'm left to do now is to activate this vocabulary by turning it on and choosing done. Again, I'll wait a couple seconds here for it to do its filtering, but once that's done, the 5,000 plus words that are in the full vocabulary will be filtered out to only show these 20 or 30 words that I have in the list that I want. So now I can say I that I would like like the green, green. sweater. Or I can't really wear that one. It's too small for me. Small. <laughs> I like the green sweater, but it's small. I need to like get a big one. Big. Um, where I might choose the uh, yellow, the yellow shirt. shirt. So we can talk about that activity while we're doing it. And then when we're done choosing our clothes for the day, we go back into the vocab builder. We can go back to full vocabulary here by disengaging this. Or we can click on the file list and choose... In this case, I might want to yeah, right? make my preferences yeah. about cats and dogs known. Done. And now it's going to filter away the clothing words and bring back those five words that I have pre-selected for cats and dogs. I. So I can go ahead. Like. Say, oh, I like your dog. Dog. Talk about my non-preference for a particular type of animal. And then when we're done learning these words and using these words, we can go back to select another list from our file list to create another list for something new or to return to our full vocabulary, which is what I'll do.